Hey guys, just want to give you an update. Uh, me being a DirecTV dealer for many years, uh, wanted to let people know if you happen to have one of these old remote controls laying around like I have several, they're still quite good to use some of the new flat screen TVs today and maybe you need an extra remote for your TV for the volume or anything like, uh, like I do. We're always losing a remote control so it's nice to have a backup this is great for the new flat screen tvs uh, i'm going to show you how to program it to your particular tv today might uh, come in handy as an extra remote control for your tv uh, like I say this is one of the previous generations of direct tv remote control so this is quite a few years old and i know just from going to people's houses and doing uh different things with the TV uh, issues we have today, hanging TVs and some of the things that we do personally here at my business. I see a lot of these still out and about in people's houses. So I just want to give you a quick tour of how to make it useful for your particular TV you might want to use it on. Uh, first thing you want to do is you want to take the button here and the select button, hold them down you're going to see the green light up here flash twice. Once you do that, come down here and you punch in 991. You're going to see this flash twice again. After you see it flash twice, push one. You're going to see it flash twice again. Then you're going to come back here and hit the channel up button. Now, it's not going to be instantaneously. It may take you five minutes of pushing the up button to get to the right code for your TV. So don't give up on after pushing it two or three times. You may have to push it a hundred times uh, to get to the right code for your TV. Now, once you hit the right code for your TV, your TV should turn off. Once it turns off, you want to hold the select button for five seconds. That locks in that code. You should be able to turn your TV back on, use your volume, and channel up, channel down as you would like to. And like I say, it makes a great extra remote control for you. So again, that's a little hack to programming your direct TV remote control if you have one of these old ones like this. Uh, like I say, I have several. That I still use one here in my office for my TV that I do not have direct TV on. I have a fire stick on it and I use it for the volume for my TV there because as you can see, I have one of the first generation fire sticks that does not have the remote con or, or the volume on it or the Amazon or Netflix button like some of the newer ones do. So this combination, this actually works my fire stick for channel up home buttons, all the things that normal functions and this will allow me to change the input if I want to change between my uh, HDMI inputs and then it allows me to do the volume and power on power off so hopefully that helps you with an old remote control you may have laying around the house and don't want to just throw it away maybe you want to get some extra use out of it then go ahead and reprogram that to work for uh, the TV that you have Hey, hope that helps. Uh, please like and subscribe for other helpful items. We do a lot of cruise talk on our channel, and uh, we do, like I say, I've been doing direct TV and utilities for over 20 years, so we will do some TV hacks and different things for your TV and uh, viewing pleasure, and maybe even a few hacks for out of town and uh, vacation, take your TV with you type things. So. Anyway, please like and subscribe to stay up to date on some of our TV hacks we'll be going across on here for cruisers and just when you go on vacation so you can take your home TV with you. Anyway, have a good one. We'll talk to you later.